We are in Children's Healthcare of Atlanta operating room. I'm sure you all feel that place where you feel in sync with the universe for some reason. That's this place. So tomorrow my son is going to have open heart surgery. Congenital cardiac surgeon is an incredibly high stress job. It requires intense focus. You cannot think about anything else. The surgeon is a little bit like trying to be the conductor of the orchestra, but also playing first chair violin. Perfect, fill us up, please. People in this OR know exactly what I want 99% of the time. The key for my position is anticipation. I need to be five steps ahead of everybody. Dr. Subi can probably do over 100 different procedures. She, in particular, has pushed herself so hard to learn and become the very best. Charles, you wouldn't know it to look at him, all the stuff he's gone through. This is the third surgery that he'll have, open heart surgery. It's called the Fontan, and he's four years old now. Today, we're at the hospital, right? And we're meeting all the doctors. This picture is a beautiful picture of his prior Glenn operation. Charles has hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Children are born with this complex congenital heart disease. One side of their heart is underdeveloped. We are figuring out a way to read out the blood to make the one ventricle work. Hello, Price. yes. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. I just wanted to meet you since we haven't met before. They've been through a lot of things in life, especially Charles. The least I can do is be transparent with them. How many chest tubes are we expecting? At least two. I do not want to give her false hopes. I want her to know exactly what to look forward to. These parents have a huge amount of trust they have to give this person. You know, this is their baby. What's your truck's name again? Domi. Domi? Domi truck? When I first considered doing pediatric cardiac surgery, I thought that I was one of the people who could handle parents, who connected with them, who could empathize with them. And then I had a daughter and completely changed my perspective. I realized how far off I am. You guys headed back now? Okay. Let me take his hearing aids off. I cannot imagine handing my child over to a stranger and saying, okay, I trust you to do heart surgery on this child. Yes, I feel helpless because I can't control it. Okay, time out everybody. This is Charles Packham. We're doing radio sternotomy, extracardiac, non-fenestrated fontan. Okay, let's do it. We put the sound of the heartbeat in the operating room intentionally. That's where I get into my zone. While I'm waiting, sometimes I'll go downstairs and go out to the garden. I cross stitch. I find that it's very meditative. This is an art in a lot of ways, and some of that is skill that you can learn, and some of that is, you know, just God-given talent. I have it. I'm on the heart. You definitely have to have steady hands. I am on the fountain now. And we are dealing with very delicate tissue. You know, I've heard it described in the past as sewing butter with a thread the size of a piece of hair. When he was first born, we were given the opportunity to just take him home and love on him for a week and let him pass or take this more difficult route for him. He's doing some funny rhythms. 
I'm super stressed. I think it's how you use your emotions. You can use it to your strength. The emotions I feel pushes me to be a better surgeon. You're growing muscles. You're growing your muscle to love and to give. You're growing your muscle to sacrifice and to extend yourself past what you think is possible. I feel for those parents. I know what they want. Nice suturing, Dr. John. Thanks, everybody. I just walked out of the operating room. We finished the Fanta and everything went great. I'm very pleased. This is the fun part of my job where I get to give some good news. Hi. Everything went great. Hallelujah. I have zero concerns. He did have some heart rate changes, mm -hmm. but nothing that concerned me out for long duration. You know, Dr. Subi really strives so hard to communicate well to her families, to relate to them, to understand what they're going through. 100%, I am stronger today than I was four years ago. I'm a stronger mother, I'm a stronger person. You can see the very beginnings of it, but it's going to be, to be a light to the world. I hope that through this surgery, he will be able to influence and make more connections and, and help and give and serve. Here we go. The most rewarding thing for me is to see a patient back in clinic when they're completely normal running around. For that, I need to be best at what I can do and I need to become better every day of my life until I stop practicing. Tomorrow, if my daughter is in somebody else's hand, I would expect no less.